this shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Sharks are cloaked with a singular aura of terror. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
fish are bottom feeders, so in eating them, sharks consume quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. By lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Did Golden Shores import this mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. Migratory, with the ability to travel across entire oceans. Why this one would willingly stay in Port Clovis is beyond me. Golden Shores import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts. None more sad than the shark. The 
celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf.
capturing it with video technology is what this program is all about. remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Cowards, shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting their prey.
The fish takes quick, evasive action. encounter of the deadliest kind.
the shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and tight chicks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark. The multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell.
his attention spans are short. We've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Cordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined processors. They're both laden with bench warrants and allergies. is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball.
members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginable. Emphasize that humans are not a dietary staple of most.
sound of shotguns and molly hatchet disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea, the shark hunter is behind you.
know she's close. Is that it? It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Not in the script and without cues. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about.
gelatinous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans. Salted or raw, king mackerel remains a time-honored staple of American dinner tables. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules, but not for long if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it.
Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. and poor impulse control with them. The able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf.
in as the conflict escalates.
USGA Rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damaged clubs from abandon. Am I just seeing things? Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Does this smell unusual, or is that just poor Clovis? Another shark hunt draws to a close. Kangaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Catch a kingfish is with a wire leader twin treble bait rig on a seven foot rod. Or you can just be a shark. Lack of oxygen can be taxing for a shark. A bounty has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow bored. how long a shark can live out of water. If this one doesn't return to the sea, she'll eventually find out. Hey, shark, get your ass 
Flamingo Jones. Stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation. Oh, Often swing in a figure eight pattern prior to an attack.
Make no mistake, those shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job. They know, actually, that's pretty irresponsible. Always end in a fight over whether Poodle Wheat and Terry Mix should be called a Woodle or Wheat. Fast and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Sultan of Speed, the Maker. is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako.
The ocean world can be fierce and uncompromising. The slicing jaws of the shark chop the grouper into multiple sized pieces. possibly saved the lives of an estimated thousands of baby cats. The grouper feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. Shark Hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. 
outside of just avoiding the beach for a few hours.
powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. are easily identified by their conical snout and crescent-shaped caudal fin. While being on land is fun, so is not being safe. The third iteration of Pier 1 famously collapsed on the day it received historic landmark designation. We got a sharp problem that needs fixing.
Captain Robert Brunkwit.
Unfortunately, the shark leather market has experienced a significant fall-off since the flashy and decadent 1980s. The likelihood of catastrophic risk scenarios wasn't really considered when developers built a golf course in a flood zone.
Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfishing.
In this eat or be eaten world, there's little room for error or sentimentality. For decades, Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. The Bayou Brawl, the American Alligator. star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity.
Historically, overdevelopment of the shoreline leads to a wide variety of negative environmental impacts. But you should see the Italian design walk-in closets inside these condos. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there. I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. Boy I couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to hunt a shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Beginning in 1946, WZUZ began broadcasting the country variety show Hillbilly Hayloft Hoedown, live from Pier 1. retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection.
America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lack of park safety standards. is an animal of broad dietary supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
Jewish congregation in Paris, where in a single dominant male lives with several females and perpetuates the hegemony. kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. listens determinedly for the irregular low-frequency sound of an animal in peril.
Even a shark can't help but marvel at this consumerist babble. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans, which means there's still plenty of treasure out there for everybody. approaches prey with cold and
Pier 1's Bird Dog Grill is famous for its endless platter challenge, featuring a dozen oysters, one full rack of ribs, six sausage links, half a barbecue chicken, and 25 spicy wings. Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. Right now. Much of the sand in the parrotfish's range is actually pulverized, undigested coral they excrete after grazing the reefs for algae. anomaly, the hammerhead. clearly superior depth perception.
in pursuit of a dangerous shark. Those closest to you prepare for the possibility that they might come home. faceless many who'd live, die, and leave no record upon this earth.
out here. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Probably right under me. I just know she's near. That shark's probably moving on to Daytona. Strong work, everybody. The hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. so often needs as well. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so this ends the bounty.
Clovis responds with swift, repetitive action. Contrary to urban legend, the bull shark cannot live out of water for hours. Little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Port Clovis's most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. Seaside Sparrow. But, you know, they went extinct in 2007. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. Port Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Nakiwaka. Favorite lighthouse. Had a 
keeper named Emil. Always had the best core liquor. Now they got it automated. I tell you, that computer's a lot less fun to drink with. Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons. And probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. Another shark hunt draws to a close. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.